Alrighty. Hey guys. It's a me. My name's a Abyssal. I'm gonna be playing Total War Warhammer 2. I don't know how long I'll continue this. Um, I just felt like changing it up a bit, and I play a lot of this game on the side, so I figured maybe I could do a series on it. Now, I've been obsessed with the green skins lately, and I've been obsessed with Grimgor a lot because he's just a fucking badass. So, I know that I'm decent with Grimgor. And I have really ever played with Savage Orcs. Let's take what should be ours. So, I'm gonna play as Warzag, and we're gonna see how that goes. I don't know how I'm gonna cut this up yet. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do. I don't know if there'll be enough people to do anything if they wanna name units, give them backstories. We can do that. Um, Etc. We'll see how long I do this. We'll see how I cut it up, and so on and so forth. But other than that, I just feel like doing something where I can enjoy my time. I'm using Surreal's mod pack. So if you are wondering what all these mods are, it'll be in that pack. I can link that in the description below. Anything else? Well, yada yada, blah blah blah. Let's get into this shit. Grimgor Ironhide is taken Black Crag, and many orcs flock to the Black Orcs banner. Now, Warzag, the great green prophet, comes declaring Ironhide chosen by Mork and Gorg, the great green gods themselves. Grimgor, for his part, tolerates Warzag up to a point, but cannot stand the Savage Orcs' constant mumbo jumbo. As such, he has sent him off to Ekrand to aid the. Beleaguered orcs of the bloody hands. Anyway, yeah. So on and so forth. Uh, as for covering lore and anything, uh, I don't think I can do that. I know a decent amount about the Warhammer Fantasy world because I'm trying to make stories and stuff with Warhammer Fantasy RPG. But um, spotting them off in a video is not going to be my forte. So, sorry about that. It should also be noted I'm not the best at this game, but I'm not awful, so at least there's that. And I'm just going to play a bunch of this and have some fun. And if you guys like this, uh, let me know and I'll play more. Other than that, I'll see you guys when the game loads. It's not on my SSD, it's just on my hard drive, so this could take a while. I'll see you then. The green gods have led you to Ekrund, Lord Wurzag. What do they whisper now? Are the Badlands ready for the taking? The nearby area is teeming with tribes of inferior greenskins. To the east, the Teeth Snatchers and Red Fangs gather, eager to exploit you and regain lost lands. Yet you are chosen by the gods. They will see that you prevail. Demonstrate your strength to these weaklings, and tribes of lesser orcs will flock to your banner, freeing you to pursue your twisted prophecies. The stunted dwarfs that dwell in the mountains around you should provide plentiful quarry. There are many who will not listen to your words, who call you misguided or mad. They will be brought to heal. You have foreseen it. You are the great green prophet, Wurzag. You have been promised greatness by the gods. Now go and claim it. Sounds nice. I like that. How they play, Wurzag's Wa. Wurzag may recruit his powerful savage orc brethren anywhere on the campaign map. Holy shit, that's decent. Enemy hero action success chance minus 50%. Charge bonus plus 25 for savage orc units. Physical resistance and minus 50% upkeep. Holy fuck. Wurzag does not call any place, or yeah, call anyone place home. Yet wherever he decides to roam in his dominion. Okay. Is his dominion. There we go. Jesus, I can't read for shit. He inspires otherwise wretched and useless gangs of greenskins to greatness in all corners of the earth and charges them with achieving greatness across the Badlands and beyond. Or else, occupy loot or raise, or raise or sack three different settlements. Sounds fun. I like that. 
we'll do that. What can I build here? We got a landmark. Savage or Gathering. Nothing decent in terms of like a gold mine or shit, which bothers me. What resource? Do we even have a resource here? Nope. Ew. What nearby spot has a resource? I guess salt. That's useful. I think. Probably not. I guess I'm going to be expanding downwards. First things first. I'm going to look at my diplomacy with Gryffindor. Treaties. Okay. So we're in a non-aggression pact with Gryffindor. Good. I'll kill him later. Hopefully. I can't promise that. There's not a lot of things I can promise. Uh, Night Goblin, Shaman, or Shaman. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to upgrade this. It gives me income and leadership. And... I gotta decide if I want more money or if I want growth. Hmm. I should build something here for now. I'm gonna focus on my savage orcs because I can upkeep them. We're gonna get some more money for now. What can you do? You can steal technology. Can I research without a... Nope. Indie Goblin Workshop. What can you do? Hinder Replenishment. That seems nice. Also costs 303 teeth, which I don't know if I want to spend. Hmm. I also don't know if I need you in Wurzag's army. Gaze of Morg. Power of Dewa. Group power recharge, right? Nice. Brain bus is that... That's an explosion, okay. Fists of Dork. Ooh. Headbutt, foot of Gork. Interesting. So this is the big Wah, right? And he has the power of the little Wah. Spell time. Which would give... Sneaky stabbing, sneaky stealing, itchy nuisance. Interesting. I might put him in another army. Hmm. For now, I'm just gonna hinder a punishment, I guess. I don't know if that's gonna be useful or not. But either way, oh, I got a follower. Leadership for Night Goblin units and Untainted. Don't know if that's useful, but I'll take it. Uh, oh, he gives scouting. Maybe I do want to put him in there, then. Steel technology. Obedience is modified. Hmm. We'll see. I'll upgrade that on the off chance. Can I get to either of these? I guess I can just get to him for now. Huh. Interesting. wonder if I want to recruit more Savage Orcs before I head in there. Because... I'm gonna recruit more Savage Orcs before I head in. I can only recruit one. How expensive are they to recruit? A lot. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna go further ahead before I do that. And we'll see what happens. As I've stated, I'm not decent at this game at all. So we'll see what happens. As I just stated, we'll see what happens. I'll say it again, too. We'll see what... I should shut the fuck up. Hmm. Rockbar and Grimgor's Wah are already at war, huh? Why would you go over there? Are you running from me, or can I reach him? I'd like to destroy him when he's marching, because that'll give him tired in battle. Mm, I'm really tempted to do that. Can I beat that, though? Probably not, since it's upgraded. Balls. Well, I'll destroy this for now, then. We'll start off with the first battle, even though it'll probably be a decent victory. Because I want to check out how the Savage Orcs play, because I don't usually play with Savage Orcs. And I gotta figure out how I'm gonna use Warzag, because he's apparently somewhat decent in combat. I'll have to look at his stats. Obviously, Grimgor could probably kick his ass. 
And by probably, I mean Grimgore could kick his ass, because Grimgore can kick anyone's ass. Except for Arcan. We know how that went in the lore. But the end times are garbage anyway, so, you know, whatever. You know, I saw it, but it didn't really register in my mind until now that I have a fucking giant to start off with. And that's hilarious to me. Alright, what do you- how are you? 43 and 25, what the hell is that? Should I even put you in melee combat? I don't see why not. I'll throw you around the side maybe with the giant. Alright, so I have a direct damage, effigy of Degit. Recently, Wurzeg has taken to carrying a doll or effigy of his foes and sticking pins into them. Or in them to stop the gets from getting away. Alright. Direct damage causes damage to combatants. Strong versus a single combatant. Oh, that's nice. So it's kind of like a uh, soul drain or whatever from the lore of death. But different because it's worse. Like, anyway, I should shut the fuck up. Brain Bursta. Explosion. He's got Gaze of more. Do I have all these to start off with? Where's Egg's Revenge? Whoa. Plus 50 miscast chance. That's hilarious. War Pain of War's Egg. 12% damage resistance. He's got the Wah trait, but that's from the other thing. And he's also got Frenzy, which is impressive. Alright, well, anyway, I should get into this shit and shut the fuck up. You guys. Savage or Bork Boys. Anti large armor piercing. Ooh, they have armor piercing. I like it. I will right, we'll stick off with this. I'll probably keep those separate. You can go to the third one. We'll gamble since it's only 12. Hopefully I'll get more. I will get a whole lot more. Holy fuck. All right, that's wonderful. And we'll go in. Let's kick some ass. You guys will do the same. I'll bring the boar boys around. And we'll see what happens. Fast forward just a tad bit. Because who wouldn't? Look at that giant. He's so friendly looking. We got goblins. Nice Fucking godspeed. I wonder what's gonna happen here. Those poor goblins are gonna get the shit shot out of them. That's what's gonna happen. No idea how these spells work, but they seem fun, so. Let's see how Wurzeg can handle that. Alright. Hit those goblin archers from behind. I don't know who you're shooting, but I want you to shoot the orc boys. You can shoot those arrow boys. Gaze of Mork is a magic missile. Explosion. Ooh. Target too close, huh? Holy shit, savage orcs are terrifying. What the hell? Alright. Actually, no. Go get those goblin archers. They're trying to run. That's funny. Trying to figure out how you do it in melee. You don't seem too bad at all. Get that giant down there to help you out. We're gonna chase shit. I don't want to even get in the way. What the fuck are you thinking? Wow. I kind of like them. I have a feeling I'm gonna have a horrible fucking time against dwarves though, because I have literally no fucking armor. Yep, ah, no armor. Do they have a war paint? They have the 40% physical resistance, but that's not gonna help against jack shit with missiles. All right, how's this work? Boom! Whoa. <laughs> that's funny. Here, have that. I know it's not good against you, but have it. Whoa. Oh, it actually... Oh, cannot move. Holy shit. You know, maybe I'd figure these things out in life if I actually read properly. Boom! Where's that? took a lot of damage, though. That unsettles me. Alright. Since it's a settlement battle, I don't have to continue that garbage. Where's that has no armor, right? What is his, um, damage resistance? I didn't- I don't remember. I, was, I checked, but I don't- I don't recall what I- what I looked at. Because I'm a fucking dumbass. 
Uh, it's better that every high elf be condemned. I was gonna read that, but that didn't work. All right, cool. We'll uh, loot and occupy because fuck public order in the beginning. As an orc, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll go route marcher to start off with because that's a smart decision. And I would like to get two more savages. I I do have enough to repair that. Good. I don't have enough to build anything, but that doesn't matter for the turn. It does, but it doesn't, because I'm a shithole. Decent first turn. Probably not the best, but decent. I gotta figure out if I want to put him in my army. I usually don't like having multiple spellcasters, but... Maybe it'll give me an excuse to actually use up my Winds of Magic, because I didn't do shit there. Top knots. what do you want? Okay. Mostly, I'm also excited to get, like, some units named. I know it'll probably never happen. We'll go United, because that seems fun. We're gonna build... Pinal... Uh, Pinal? What the fuck is that? No. We're gonna build some fucking idols, because I'm an idiot. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna raid. I'll have a rebellion in two turns. That's perfect. More things to kill. And they're gonna muster, so that's gonna be fun. What do I need to get this? I also need Stone Mine Tower. It's a good thing I am at war with the Scabby Eyes as well. <sighs> trying to figure out how I wanna do this. Not entirely positive yet, but that's okay. I'm gonna look at my building browser real quick. Got idols, still have the raiding stashes. Or Zag's big walls. A big wall is good is a good way of stopping the enemy from getting in. Alright, I like it. I like it. Or Zag stitches. Ah, makes me happy. Um mostly the same. The only landmark there is is just this savage orc shit. And I say shit, but yeah. What does the second one allow me to get, actually? I wasn't even paying attention. I should probably look at that, because I'm an idiot. It allows me to get Savage Orc Error Boys. And then at the third level, I can get the Savage Orc Boar Boys. The Savage Orc Boar Boy Biggins. That's a mouthful. Savage Orc More Boy. Savage Orc More Boys. <laughs> and Savage Orc Biggins. What the hell is this? Anti-infantry, huh? Hammer infantry, huh? And then axe infantry. None of them have any fucking missile resistance at all, because none of them carry shields, which... Which terrifies the shit out of me. Because... If I start fighting dwarves, I'm gonna feel those quarrelers in my ass. And in my face, and pretty much everywhere, because nothing's covered. And it's gonna be great. I'm gonna love it. So what the hell do you <laughs> Non-aggression pact. Mm. No. I'm good. As long as you don't go to war with me. What the hell? What do you want? What are you doing? Fuck out of here. My commentary is amazing, by the way. Obviously. I... You, if you couldn't tell. But yeah fucking love this game, so Let's I figured that I should play it. Next turn or two. That's perfectly fine by me. I might as well get the fucking most out of it. Not afraid that for more mun muns. I'm gonna ignore the rebellion. They're still gonna muster, which is fine. I'm gonna keep raiding for some extra income. I'm gonna crush that rebellion. Oh, they came to fight me. Let's see what Raiden Camp gives me. Fighting is three. Uh, charge bonus of ten and a leadership of five. Fair enough. I think I'll have this in the bag. Morglum Neck Snapper. Fascinating. They have two Goblin Wolf Archers, which I'm gonna hate. I have no doubt. But if I can destroy everything else, hopefully they'll route. If not, maybe I'll get <laughs> maybe I'll get some kills with my Savage Orc Boar Boys. 
Are those ones anti-infantry or anti-large? Pretty sure they're anti-large. That quick loading feels good, man. Alright. I'm gonna send the giant up the middle. Get my error boys in the back. I'm gonna try and focus them on those fucking wolves. Uh, where do I want Rezai? Put him over there. The shaman will not do that. That seems like a stupid idea. And that's how we'll send shit in. Although, I'd like to keep you... Mm, no, I'll put you in one. I'll just have to move you up instead of charging you forward into battle. Boop. We'll do that. You'll go around. Or actually, you'll sit right there for the moment. I'm gonna put you in your own thing. And we're gonna focus fire on those wolf riders. Oh, there's actually wolf riders and archers. That's fine. We'll shoot the archers. There's more archers over there, actually. We'll shoot those. And we're just gonna charge. Shoot them. I'm gonna have you go buff them. This is gonna be rough. I has a feeling. As long as I can crush the main side. That is a bad idea to put the wolf riders in with that. Well, for them at least. For me, not really. I'm gonna do a boom. That's a nice boom. I like it. And you. I'm gonna give them some sneaky stabbing. Buff them up a bunch. I don't really want to send you in anywhere. But I got nothing. Those guys need to die. Please shoot them dead. Probably can't see him because of line of sight bullshit. That's fine. I just realized I do have effigy to get. That's important. That is very important. Hmm. Giant seems to be doing some lovely shenanigans. I'm gonna pull you guys back because you're just gonna get the fuck shot out of you. If I can get effigy to get on one of them, that'd be perfect. But I'm worried I won't be able to. So I'm just gonna hit these guys with an explosion do as much damage as I would have liked. Oh, it's because I have Skirmish on. I always hate Skirmish because it makes me do some dumb things. I made the goblins route, which makes me happy. I'm gonna select this guy. I'm gonna buff up this group of savage orcs because they seem to be having some trouble. Try and keep myself somewhat entertained here. The giant's gonna go after that. They route, good. Whether or not they'll continue to do anything decent, debatable. I'll send you guys into melee. The giant can't catch up to him, that's fine, don't care. They come back, oh, there they are. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of them, but I also want to hit them with this. And that, because fuck them. Savage Orc's actually gonna route. Interesting. Well, I mean, they are fighting a lord, so it's not surprising to me. Alright, well, that went better than I thought it would, although I played that pretty piss poor. It took way more casualties than I think I should have. I'm still not sure if I should be throwing Wurzag into the battle or not. Well, either way. I'm gonna get some decent kills with my boar boys, methinks, before this ends, hopefully. Those wolf riders are fucking out, though. I'll send them over here, then. We'll see what I can wrap up. If anything. Enemy Lord is wounded. 
my fucking night goblin shaman did that. That's impressive. Uh, and that's about it. Them attacking me was a stupid idea. I figured that would be the case, but you know, whatever. Hoping I still get to keep that group of savage orcs. That'd make me happy. And it looks like that's the end of the battle. I lost 392, they lost 1200. So it's not bad, but it's not fantastic either. Especially since I need to go fight a rebellion now. That could hurt me a bunch. I got some regiments of renown that I can use. What do we got? 22% damage resistance. Ooh. Less for 67 seconds. That's not bad. Spleen Ripper. I think I'm going to enable magical attacks for the entire... Uh, the law path plus two, but I need to be at rank 20 for that. It gives me less weapon strength, but it's a bonus to everything else. So I think I'm going to give him that. Give him more maneuverability. Let's take what should be ours. What do they got Don't in that? Right in. Let's do it. I won't be able to get reinforcements from that as much as I'd want to. I think I'm gonna go... Hmm, this could be bad. I wasn't expecting that. Cool down to Sneaky Stabbing. Can I beat that though? Probably. It'll be rough. But I think I can beat it. Ooh, they have artillery. Hmm. If they get larger, though, I'll be fucked. That's the problem. And I can't go anywhere to replenish, so we're just gonna have to fight this and see if we win. Which I assume we will, but it'll be difficult. Now, I'm playing this really poorly, because I've never really played Wurzag before. But, I'm having fun, so at least there's that. We will gamble. That's probably a bad idea. Yep. Figured. Alright, that's gonna start us off strong. Get the air boys in the back. I want Wurzag to wrap around. I want the giant head up the middle. I want these guys to go around. Where is you, buddy? Be careful with that. I'll send you in like so, and we'll see how that goes. We got to get in as soon as possible because they have artillery, and I don't want to feel that. Don't want to feel that at all. I know I will, and it's going to hurt like a bitch. But that is A-OK -okay because I'm the Great Green Prophet. Oh, that's going to hurt like a motherfucker. Actually took less casualties from that than I was expecting. So that's great. It makes me happy. One second. All right, let's see what I can do. Can I hit them with an explosion yet? Yes. Do I want to hit the boar boys, or do I want to... I mean, this is going to hurt like a bitch. I'm going to send it in there with a whole bunch of them. Alright, let's get around. They're protecting the shit out of that rock lava. I'm going to send him in to help with those boar boys. Let's see. Not both after the chariot, but I think you know what I mean. Let's 
I don't know where you fucking think you're going, but it's not a way, that's for sure. Alright, getting things to route already. Fantastic. Savage Orcs seem really good at that. And you know what? I'm not gonna complain. I like it. Rock lobbers down. I do not trust that at all. They still have that wolf chariot, which I want dead. So we'll see how that works out. Hopefully, well, I'd like for that thing to be crushed. That's exactly what I thought would happen. Uh, where are my poor boys? I'm gonna have you guys go destroy that group, because I know they'll be back. They're always back. That is a Night Goblin war boss, so I don't think that that'll work out in my favor. So hopefully I can get Sly out of there. And I'll get the Great Green Prophet in there. Because I know that's how that works out. Make sure you guys continue attacking. Please don't spank yous. I know you don't really want to, but I would be really happy if you did. That is spear infantry they're charging into. I don't know if I really like that. So I'm gonna go send them after that rock lopper. Gormog Brain Bash. That's a lovely name. That kind of worked. Not exactly what I wanted, though. Not exactly what I wanted, though. Give that to him. Even though I don't, he doesn't entirely need it. Okay, cool. They have routed. And they're also shattered. He's fucking gone. And we're gonna go after the only thing left. Which is the wolf chariot. And we'll see how that works. I do have Effigy, I just cannot hit it yet, which just saddens me. My poor boys, I think, can actually get in, though. Damn. I didn't think they'd be able to lock him down. That's fantastic. Can I hit him with Effigy? Nope, where's Zag? Too slow. That's fair, though. I should probably try and damage them more, but I'm not going to worry about it. What got a lot of kills for them? Just some random orc boys. Their goblobber didn't even... It's not a goblobber, right? It's a... Uh... Or is it? Can't remember. Goblin rock lobber, that's what I'm looking for. Didn't even get as much as I thought it would. Figured it'd be more of a problem than that. But it wasn't, so that makes me happy. We're gonna auto resolve the next one, especially since I have backup. Hug Lug Headbutt. I like that. That's a nice name. The Earthing Rod. I got some Squig Hoppers. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to go back or not. I've also leveled up a few times, which is fantastic. Level up Gaze of more. Give him some Blade Master, and I'm gonna give him Fist of Gork as well. I should probably start buffing up some of my Good units, right, but I'm gonna figure that out when I get to it. Mm hmm. Which nuisance. Against armor, Gork will fix it. I think I'm gonna have a problem with, like, Wolf Riders and shit, so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually... I don't have enough to march them, never mind. I am going to combine all units, at least these guys, and then I'll get a couple yes, more every good. of everything. Well, not a couple more, you see, but you see. 
And then we're gonna hopefully replenish for a turn and then head out to attack these bitches. Over gyrating shaman. Whilst prancing around a campfire and some bone jangling feather waving dance, your shaman over gyrated his hips, tripped over a gabo, and dived headfirst into the fire, getting severely burned. The boys are disturbed. Character wounded sly. All right. Ooh, they're taking attrition because of low fightiness. I like it. That doesn't even actually give me a whole lot. Well, that's depressing. I might as well stay there now. I was hoping that'd give me more uh, replenishment than it did. But it's a lie, it seems. Is a lie. So, to secure this province, I need this entire area. And then I also have to make sure I go down and destroy this. I have to decide after that if I want to... Continue going up yonder and fight Scabby Eye more. Or if I want to go down here and fight the top knots. I'll probably destroy Scabby Eye first. But once I do that, I also have to worry about fighting Baragvar. Problems. Alright. Well, for now... How much am I running at in deficit? I can afford a couple. Specifically, probably one. <laughs> nope, two. I can afford two. Although I'm not going to be making a whole lot of teeth. I'll have to rely on raiding and sacking. But is the name of the game, I suppose. We are orcs, and I'm also a savage orc, so... I'm a little more fucked up in the head in comparison, I suppose. A little more crazy. Relying on war paint instead of armor. What do you want? They're, offers, they're offering to pay me for a non-aggression pact. Uh, during the early game, I will take that because I do want more money. And I want to worry less about bullshit. So I'll take both of those. Sounds nice, actually. Alright. Raid a region... Belonging to any of the following enemies of Grimgor's Wa. Red Fangs, Clan Angrid. Okay, I also get a TP. I could maybe do this. I don't have a peace treaty with the Red Fangs, so I could probably do that. It's all the way over there, but it's also not that far at the same time. You do have mighty mystic powers. You are correct. Actually, I'm going to stay in my area for now. I was thinking that I'd have enough. I should have looked at my movement points. I was thinking that I would have had enough for... Um, actually... Raiding. But I didn't, so... That's my bad. Confederation. Grimgor's Wa and the Bloody Spears. War declared. Zufbar. And... Grimgor's Wa. Thief Snatches and the Bloody Princes. There's a lot of bullshit going on. I hate the whole confederating thing. I still feel like I should find a mod to get rid of that because it's obnoxious. Sewer Watch. Nah, I'm okay. I know I probably should, but I won't. I also hate that I have to worry about this fucking corruption shit because of these beastmen. As I will have a rebellion in three turns yet again. Not my cup of tea. We're gonna get that because I would like more casualty replenishment and more growth. Can I beat that though? That is my predicament right now. Probably, but it's gonna be a rough battle. I don't really have an elite unit, is my problem. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should... Recruit more. I couldn't even recruit more if I wanted to. I'm gonna need more money. So we'll raid a bit. Piss them off, get some replenishment, you know. Hopefully get them to come fight me. Or get them to move away. One of the two. I know they won't, though. 
We'll see what happens. I'm passing the turns pretty quick. Two turns and I'll get another rebellion, which is fine because it's just more shit for me. Although I'm still kind of acting like Grimgore. I'm used to acting like Grimgore. I'm used to playing Grimgore. Playing Warzag is confusing. Rebellion? Yep, that's fine. I figured that that would happen. Now, do I want... I kind of want these squig hoppers. They're pretty fast. They can do some shit. Hmm. I'm gonna upgrade that first. Remnant Rebellion. I'll keep raiding. I'll head back, destroy the Rebellion next turn. I gotta get out of this province. I gotta go forward and expand more. I do really wish I was playing Grimcore right now. I'd love a unit of Black Orcs to just tear through shit. But I don't have that elite unit and it's bothering me. I have a giant, but that doesn't feel like it's enough. And that saddens me. So we'll go kill the Rebellion again and I'll try and move out. Whether or not I can is debatable. I have seen the future. Oh, have you, Wurzag? Must be nice. Mm, I will auto-resolve that. What killed a lot? Goblin Wolf Chariot. That's depressing. I am going. I has my mystic powers. <sighs> I really dislike how it does that. Yeah. Anyway, what can I rely on? Melee attack and charge bonus for Savage Orcs. Weapon strength, okay. I like that. What can I upgrade? The TP, if I like it. Man, the public order in this area is awful. Used to not having to deal with corruption either. At least not as bad as Gr well, like with Grimgore. But now I'm having a problem with it because there's that stupid... Oh, Beastman unit army thing running around. They're mustering again. Alright, I'll see if I can get to them and stop that. I have to make sure that I get to the Bitterstone mine before it upgrades again. Because then I'll have to deal with Orc Biggins and that's just going to be a problem. And I have a feeling that it's already upgraded. Uh, fuck no. Alright. I've had enough of that shit. Can I not get to it? I cannot. I also can't. Actually, I can. Perfect. Blood over here. Raid. Scouting. We'll head into the next turn. And then... We'll see what I can do. I don't like that they're mustering, but they're still taking attrition damage, so that's fine by me. And if I can take them on when they're so low, I might actually be able to do something. Silverhost and Krakazul have negotiated peace. Nice. I don't know what that'll do for me. If I'm going to fight Krakazul, that'll be a problem, because then they won't have a war on a couple fronts. I don't even know if they're at war with anyone right now. Word of pain. When, ooh. Well, that's good for me because that's an orc war boss, so I'm gonna take full fucking advantage of that. Please don't tell me that's a level three. Good. They do have a decent garrison and a decent army, but I'm gonna destroy it anyway because I'm where's the egg, so fuck you. This could be rough, but it'll be fun. And that's all that matters. How many archers do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. I have four. We'll see how that works. Hmm. I do... I'm relying on my Savage Orc War Boys here because I'm going to have to use them with their fucking 64 movement speed to make sure I can catch things with 102. So that's going to be garbage. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. 
fun, but not so much that I want it to last all night. Manfred von Karstein. I haven't read any of the actual books or anything, so I don't know what that signifies. Whoa, I will keep that. Why wouldn't I? Alright, we'll charge in like usual. There's no reason for me not to. I'll get the giant right up yonder. Rezag off to the side. My little magic dude right there. And these guys over there. That's my phase. Actually, I should probably keep them separate, huh? And that's how we'll do things. I don't know if that'll work, but that's how we'll do things. I'm gonna try and position Warzag to make sure that I can definitely buff up my units, but also see if I can lock down some of those pesky riders. You feel? Fucking goblin archers. I might just charge them, honestly. It's the only thing I can think of. There's no guarantee I can land that. But there's no guarantee I can't either. Let's get you in there. Hopefully my giant can do some lovely things. That landed. Decently, actually. I am going to make sure you don't do that, but I'm also going to buff up these bitches. You're a little bit further over there than I would have liked. It's fine. It won't go the best, but it won't go awfully either. Hit him with that motherfucker. I don't know than I thought it would. Can I get Fist of Corks? I can. That's fantastic. Oh boy. I like it. Get in there. Charge right through that shit. Is there anything that I can hit? Probably not. I'm gonna get these guys to start shooting at shit that matters. Like wolf riders. I gotta be careful with those guys, but I think they'll last a bit longer than I thought they would originally. I'm going to try and see if I can start crushing these. Definitely doesn't do as much damage as I wish it could. These guys are taking way more damage than I want them to. I'll give them sneaky stabbing again. Assuming they can catch up to them, that's what I'm looking for. Let's see if I can get Wurzag over there to help him catch them. If I can, I'll crush those instantly. Whether or not that'll actually help me is, I suppose, debatable. Yeah, I can't even get out. They're not actually going to let him get them, are they? That might have been really stupid on their part. Yeah, alright. That's good on me, though. For now, I suppose. I'll just keep buffing up my units to the best of my ability. I got people routing. This is definitely going to be a rough battle. How's my giant doing? He's doing. I didn't figure that this would be easy. But I didn't figure it'd be a pain in the ass either. Alright, see if I can get Warzag out of there so he can go buff up some other shit. Get my boar boys to go back through there. I got units routing, but also coming back, so that's decent. I really gotta focus on getting their archers down. It's a problem I'm noticing. I can't have them charge away yet, not as much as I wish I could. 
My board boys are actually having some trouble. Well, I'm out of magical, magical powers, sadly. Which I wish I wasn't. I got units coming back. Good. I know exactly what I can get them to do. Hopefully I can get them to do something. As long as I can get some of their archers to rout. Happy. It seems like I'm officially winning this now. Not entirely positive. Hmm. All right. Could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot better as well. I don't know if I like Savage Orcs in comparison. They just take way too much damage from missile fire. And I thought they'd do a lot better in the uh, melee front, but they have no armor, so they take a lot of damage. I managed to win out, but... I don't know if I like it. It was a rough victory. And I don't know if I like Wurzag. <laughs> He's just... He's not the biggest and the meanest and the greenest, you know, you feel? He's not all there. It's not all there. Ah, I want to go play Grimgore, man. But I promised I'd try and do a different thing other than Grimgore. I just love Grimgore so much. <laughs> He's so good. He's so strong. Ooh. We will uh, loot and occupy because that's what I do. And we'll get a rebellion at the same time. What a lovely day. Look at all these repairs. Bitterstone Mine. It's a shame there isn't actually anything there to make it a fucking mine. That's hilarious. I love it. Goblin Watch. Worst Axe Goblin Watch Tower. It's a lot of savage stuff. Well, I guess I can just get another pile of shiny stuff. Same notion. I'd like to upgrade that first. Uh, I want a boss tent, but I don't want to put it anywhere but there. Because that's the best spot for it, because I can upgrade it fully. Mm. Man. Greater armor piercing damage. Extended cast range. Strong versus a single unit. Large explosion area. Power of Dawa. Here we go. Plus 56 melee attack. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What the fuck is that? Holy shit. He leaks fighty energy, boosting the fierceness and prowess of friendly nearby. Or friendly units nearby. Holy shit. What the fucking hell? He's crazy. He's insane. What the hell? That's so good. And then he's got... Headbutt, which is a breath. Does... Okay. Strong versus a single unit. Weak against armor. Foot of Gork. Strong versus multiple units. We all know what the foot of Gork is. Holy shit, fuck. Alright, wow. Jesus. Jesus, dude. I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna get this. That's insane. That's just fucking crazy. Holy shit. Let's take what should be ours. Yeah, that sounds good. And I can get other things. But we're gonna get more Savage Orcs because... Fuck that! And I'm gonna get a Rebellion. But that's okay! Whereas that gives no fucks. 
Not at all, motherfucker. Anyway, I'm gonna end this off here. I don't know how long I've been going, but I don't want to go too long. So yeah, I'll probably keep this in one episode. Oh, look, scabby eye. And uh, let me know if you guys want more of this. If it doesn't do too well, I probably won't continue it. If it does, well, maybe I'll try more. Definitely not a fan of Wurzag, but I'll keep it up if people like it. If not, I'll go over to Grimgore and beat some face in. Then if people don't like that, then I'll just give up with this game altogether. Minus 1500, that's a lot. But I'll get leadership, and I kind of need that, so I'll take it. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. My name's Whistle and all that shit. Peace out.